So before he used to always turn the light, uh, see that light go on and off. Before, 30 seconds to four minutes before I got home and 30 seconds to four minutes before I'd walk out the door, he'd be out here. But 30 seconds, four minutes before I got home, he'd be out here on the porch waiting on me. So, you know, um, he was waiting on me about a week ago and slammed a trash can lid. I slammed something in the trash can and then slammed the lid. He was trying to scare me. So I call, made a phone call to somebody that it matters whether to him whether I talk you know, whether they know what kind of a low-down, dirty person he is. So he's kept it on the download, but here he is, still defying and trying to send me a signal. Just crazy. Watch again. So 2130. That is 9.30. It comes on and off at about 44 seconds after. So he flips the light on and off. And then in another couple of minutes, I'll show you. And that is um, 4 minutes and 38 seconds seconds before I get home. No, four minutes and 35 seconds before I get home. So then two minutes and 42 seconds before I get home. He flips on the lights. Still trying to send me a message. Hey, I know where you're at. I know you're on the way home. He's got some kind of tracker on my car because he's insane. So he flips on the light before I get home. And you can see him go across in front of that light from the living room to the computer room. So he can stare out the window because he's that insane. Stare out these windows up here. His wife's probably passed out and he just is like sitting up waiting on that young girl to get home. But again, you know, how does he know that? He's stalking me, that's how. He's got some kind of tracker on my car. He's mentally ill, or he's got little spies sitting in different places like, okay, she just went by, because he still thinks he's in the military. That he's some 007 spy. And so he's got to have spies around to see where I'm at and what I'm doing, because he's crazy. I mean, really, he is mentally ill. Because who would do this? Only somebody that's mentally ill like him. Drunk. Drug addict. He's probably on some kind of dope, you know, uh, speed or something, or some kind of stimulant or something. It makes him very hypervigilant. I mean, he's hypervigilant anyway, but the drinking and all that just makes him mentally ill and the sad thing is I used to think a lot of this man I had a lot of respect for him because he seemed like he was nicer than most Christians but he was hiding behind a facade of a fake person who was really this person evil diabolical treacherous mentally ill man. He keeps it well hid. There's probably very, 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 very few people that have ever found out what kind of a person he really is because he's that much of a narcissist that he's got to put present this really 
superficial, I'm a nice guy, I'm a really nice guy to everybody to hide what he really is. He's the biggest hypocrite in Calhoun County. He's the biggest fake and hypocrite in Calhoun County because he puts on this facade. See, just like two minutes after I get home, he turns off the light. So he flips it on just before I get home and then flips it off right 